Sales or PR outreach can be a cumbersome task. But what if you can automate the entire process? That's right. You can automate the reach out and you do not have to manually do the entire process over and over again. With a platform like Hunter.io, you can discover, identify, and reach out to new leads. In this walkthrough video, you will learn how to set up the entire process in under a few minutes. You will be able to discover people working in a role that you want to reach out to, identifying their email, and reaching out to them. The best part is doing this in bulk and automating the reach out part, saving you hours of your time. Okay, let's log into the platform and familiarize ourselves with Hunter.io. Right after we log in, the platform lands us on the Discover section where we can search for companies, people working with them, and other important details that allow us to connect with them. You can search by headquarters, the size of the company, keywords, and industry. This is the domain search section where you can identify the employee details under a domain, for example, google.com or startupdope.com, etc. If you know someone working within an organization and would like to identify their email address accurately, Email Finder is your tool. Similarly, Email Verifier verifies the list of email addresses to see if they are accurate and working. Let's try that out. We will check if Antoine's email from Hunter.io is valid. It sure is. Under the bulk task section, as the name suggests, you can perform bulk tasks such as domain search, email finder, and verifier. The lead section of the website is where you can access all the stored leads. Next, under the campaign section, you can set up email campaigns that will be automatically sent on your behalf to the leads or a list of leads you've selected. All right, let me show you how you can discover a lead from the Discover section. On the left-hand side, you'll find various filters. I'll start by choosing an industry that I want to target and identify companies under it. There are various filters which you can choose to narrow down your search. The list of companies are displayed at the center, and when you choose a company that you want to contact, at the right side a pop-up opens with the list of people working with the company. Similarly, let's say I'm going to search for some journalists in a media company asking for coverage. I can easily filter them out using the tool. The green check mark indicates that their emails are pre-verified and valid. Thank you. 
Let's save this lead to a list. You can use an existing one or create a new one. Since a new list was already created, I can continue adding other leads to the list. You can find all the leads you saved under the lead section. Explore the different options available. Now, let's create an email campaign that can be sent. Before you send a campaign, you will have to connect the email ID from where you would like the email to be sent. This has to be configured only one time. Under the From address, click on Add an account. Choose the email address, click allow and it's done. Let's create our first campaign. You will see that the address is chosen. Let's write a short descriptive subject and then the rest of the email content. The Rich Email Composer allows you to format your email content, add images and links to the campaign. I'd say, for the first few email campaigns, stay away from adding too many images as it may accidentally get marked as spam. So the tip is, keep it simple. The insert attribute feature is really useful when sending out bulk campaigns. You don't have to write out the name of each and every recipient manually. This feature will do that for you. Fallback is enabled when the lead name is not detected by the campaign. In its place, a generic text will be added.
Another cool feature Hunter.io has is an integrated spam checker that analyses the email text to tell you whether it sounds spammy or not. You can make changes to the content accordingly. Pretty cool, right? It's essential that your email doesn't end up in the spam box. What a waste of effort would it be? Ah, spam free. Next, let's add an automatic follow-up email. This will be triggered if they do not respond to your email within a certain number of days that you specify. Similarly, you may add a series of other follow-up emails too. But for now, on to the next thing. Now, let's choose the recipients from your saved leads. I'm going to add all the four recipients from the leads to the campaign. Click on Next. This is where you configure the campaign sending time and add other rules for sending the campaign before you launch it. We've scheduled this campaign to be sent out at a later date. Next, this is the final step where you can review the email content before you launch the campaign and it will get sent based on the rules you've sent. Take a moment to review if the names are displaying correctly. See if you can catch an error before the emails are sent out. Click on Launch to see a quick preview of the settings. Now, click on Schedule the campaign to schedule it. Great! We've now successfully scheduled the campaigns and the emails will be sent soon.
In case you would like to pause or stop the campaign, you can do so by turning off the orange toggle button. I'm glad to have taught you something new today. Until next time, thanks for watching.